Hi, we are truly better together. We took that theme from the 2018 ACU homecoming and we jumped on it because we are better together. I'm Ethan Andrews' mom. Since last year, we, since last year when we were on the stage, Ethan has had a eventful year, 19 year old experience. Ethan has walked the halls of Congress to advocate for disability rights with the ACU alumni, Caleb Orr. He has met President Trump and President Clinton while enjoying some Mexican food. He played in the first annual Miracle League All-Star Game in Ohio, where he hit two out of the park home runs. Ethan has danced in the middle of the floor at prom graduated from high school, and helped his sister move from Washington, D.C., kissed Tim Tebow's cheek, received a college scholarship, and has become a man of honor for his sister's wedding. It hasn't occurred yet, but. His life is not defined by having Down syndrome, but lives a life that looks just like yours. Thank you, ACU, for your inclusion of Ethan and Hope. We are truly better together. Ethan? Good morning, ACU. Good morning, ACU. My name is Ethan A. Andrew Eder. I want the same things in life that you do. I want to go to college after you and playing play sports. I want to post pictures and videos on Facebook and YouTube and get lots of likes. Go on, go on my YouTube now. Madison Andrew Edder. Look up. I want to be social and love lots of friends. I even I'm sorry, um, Aaron, Aaron browsing me and TV is on my phone. That you, Aaron. Lots of friends I even want to get married someday. Madison Adder. I would like to live in love powerfully the same way love Jesus out of All of these things are better when I do them together with the support of my, my family, my teachers, Ray and Nino. Hey, man. Oh, this time last week, I got first place 
and running. And about to think that my mom over there and launch up in second place. Because I have that syndrome, it may take me longer to reach my goals in life, but I am endearment. Some even called me stubborn. So I love you, me. Giving up my dreams is not a option I will overcome any challenges Everyone in my life and spotters inspires me to work harder and do do things that seem impossible. I want to you. Use me as an example. Elizabeth, come back here! Stop running! All the things are, are impossible for those who believe and Love the the Lord. We are better, better together. Let's stand together. Get up, everybody, and reach for the stars. I thank you. I love you. Bye. So, good job, Ethan. Thank you for sharing your enthusiasm and your goals and togetherness with all of us. Um, I am Angie. I am Hope's mom. So proud to be so. Um, and life with Hope and Ethan, you may have already observed, is unpredictable. Um, in fitting with that is the fact that my uh, introduction uh, was gone from my computer this morning. So you're going to get me briefly in a minute winging it, introducing hope. Um, Sunday, I was in Waco, Hope, and my daughters were there with me, and we were attending a, what would be considered a mega church. And the pastor of that church had had an episode of Bell's Palsy um, 
come over him within the week before. And Bell's palsy is basically one side of your face becomes paralyzed. And so he preached to thousands in the, the flesh and tens of thousands online while he literally held up his face so that he could be understood. And I was thinking about hope and myself and every one of us and how we all have something that we are holding up um, for ourselves or for one another. Um, or we do it. Um, there's examples of Moses' arms being held up. We're always holding pieces of one another or ourselves up as we limp toward Jesus. Therefore, we are not just better together, but we are essential to one another. It's the only way we make it to Christ is in community, holding up our face so we can speak. And so we're all hoping, Ethan, um, God created them on purpose. There were things about his nature that he wanted to reveal to us that he couldn't through um, those of us that are typical or normal, whatever that means. Um, and so my beautiful daughter, Hope, Hope, why don't you go ahead and start making your way up here, um, has taught me that we are certainly better together. Um, I didn't know what patience really was until hope entered my life. I didn't know what determination really was. I thought I was determined until I met hope. And that put what was my determination to shame watching hers. Um, hope has taught me to slow down. Um, you may have noticed that we have emotion and we go when we want to go and we celebrate when we want to celebrate and we dance when we want to dance and we speak when we want to speak and we cry when we want to cry. And if only every one of us could be that honest and that free to share, then we might know even a little better how to hold one another up. Um, I'm concluding my introduction for hope by reminding us all that after Jesus was glorified, after he died and rose and came back, and this is so important, um, he was still scarred. So we serve a glorified, risen Savior who has a big, huge scar in his side and in his hands and in his feet. And so um, please welcome Hope, who, like the rest of us, is scarred and like the rest of us, is better together. Right. Hope. Sorry, that's totally my fault. Is that better? Oh, there we go. I take classes at ACU. My classmates and I are more together, and we learn about the Bible from Dr. V's or Sign Language. 
by Mrs. Knudsen, speech from Dr. Tatum. We are better together when we have lunch in the bean or coffee at Starbucks. And we are better together when we walk across the compass to go find my... Together when we walk across the compass... We walk across the compass to go find my mom. And the marriage her family. What did what I say? I said. In the toot, we are better together when we sing and worship God together in chapel just like we doing today. Mrs. Arlene and I are definitely better together when I go to her office and sit in her chair behind her desk. Can you imagine how boring the world would be if we only hang out with people who are exactly like us? We are not better when we don't meet new people. When we steer clear of people who aren't exactly like us, we don't grow and we don't become better people. The Bible teaches us that we are better together. It says two people are better than one of they can help each other to see if one person fell. The other can reach out and help, but someone who fell alone in the real trouble. Also, two people lying close together and can keep each other warm. But how can we be warm alone? A person is standing alone and can be attacked defeated, but who can stand back to back and conquer three or even better for a Brendan Brendan core is not easily broken. Today, find someone new to have lunch with or hang out with and see how life becomes better together with a new friend. I have one more speech is in my head. So then imagine I have I have a lot of brothers, a lot of family in my life. I just say that I have two parents, I have mom and dad, and I have three brothers, Alan, Jackson, and Grayson, and I have two sisters, Ashton and Brighton, and her friends. And also, I want to say I have two sisters. I have Lexi and Tori. And so, also, Alan and Lexi are getting married on the May, on my birthday. May your birthday, yeah. Thank you so much, Hope and Ethan. Thank you for uh, showing us. Uh, what wonderful individuals you are, and 
give the students and all of us a little glimpse into the lives of, uh, of others that uh, some may see as a little different. Um, thank you, Lord, for letting us see f- folks that, are, um, that you love and have different abilities and really um, you value as, as much as anyone. So uh, at this time, I'd like to uh, welcome the, the worship team up to close us out in a, in a final song, and then uh, we'll close out with a prayer.